Well, what is a force? A force is a push or a pull, like a person pushing a box, but that isn't the only force acting on the box. Because the ground is rough, there will be friction between the ground and the box. This will result in a force pushing in the opposite direction. Then there is the weight of the box. Weight is the force due to gravity. It is a pulling force. It is pulling the box towards the center of the earth. Finally, there is the reaction force. This is a force applied on the box in the opposite direction to gravity. It is here as the ground is not letting the box pass through it. If the ground did let the box pass through it, then the reaction force would be less, or even zero. There are other types of forces as well. The force is acting on a plane as it flies. There is still weight, but there are other forces like lift, thrust, and air resistance. Or on a boat, instead of lift, we have up thrust. If you play a game of tug of war where everyone is pulling on the rope, there will be a force in the rope. This force is called tension, keeping the rope taut. But what can all of these forces do? Forces can speed things up, they can slow things down. They can change the direction an object is traveling in, and finally, they can change the shape of an object. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions in physics is that if something is moving, then there must be a force applied to it to keep it going. If you can take one thing away from this video, it is that this is simply not the case. If we were able to magically appear in space with no planets or stars or other objects near us, then we would effectively have almost no forces acting on us. We say the forces are negligible. If we are not moving, we will continue to not move. However, if we throw a ball, once it has left our hand, it will continue to travel in that direction forever, or at least until it's stopped by another object. This happens even though, after it leaves our hand, the forces acting on it are negligible.